I literally just bought, just all bought them all. We just sold out. Well, let me let me ask you this, because you've you've been around since Silver ran up back in the Twice, 80s, yeah. and then in 2011. Do you think it's poised for another run up? This is what you need to be holding: something that is physical, something that is real, something that is tangible. Did you know SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2023 Silver Eagles? Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. All right, here we are back at Harry's Coin Shop. I'm so excited because this is my first time ever working at a coin shop. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. So we got about four people in the shop here and uh, we got Chris, hey Chris. Hello. What brought you down today? What are you looking for? Um, so I actually, um, want some more gold. I actually, um, may trade in a little silver, although kind of, um, hesitant to part with any silver. Whoa. But. So <laughs> trade silver for gold potentially. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So, but you want more gold. Why, why do you want more gold? Um, I've just over the years just been accumulating a lot more silver and I just have like way more silver than gold. So okay. Just, really? Yeah. Yeah. So you just stacked the silver heavily. Yeah. when it was super cheap and now exactly. you're like yeah let's get some gold yeah well they do have some nice uh gold here what, yeah. what exactly were you looking for um nothing in particular i've recently you know picked up a uh, kangaroo and um uh buffalo so but you don't have a crew grand yet um i don't so you said you brought in some silver maybe to trade yeah, yeah just curious what are, what are you paying right now for uh Silver Eagles. For Silver Eagles, what are we yeah. at? Uh, silver Harry? Eagles are thirty-three dollars. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, I'll trade in one. One two. One two of those. I think the reason I'm partying with Eagles is I do have a lot, and the, just the the sellback premium on them is so high right now. I don't know if that's always going to be the case or not. So. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And people are so yeah. curious about that. I mean, you could literally yeah. take these ounces mm -hmm. of silver, yeah. and they got rounds for uh they're selling them for 30 dollars an ounce yeah so you could just trade these straight up and get yeah. more silver or yeah. trade for gold like you're doing yeah that's a really cool piece look at that all the way across the pond backyard bullion making his way over to harry's yeah. coin shop <laughs> that's not, so not cool selling it though. i just brought a few not like selling that. it yeah 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 <laughs> yeah okay we do have a silver dragon piece that came in as well and uh he's not selling this one right no that's one of my favorites uh it, i think it was do you consider that a cookie if it's 1.6 ounces? Oh, this is a cookie. Yeah, okay. That's so sick. So cool to see one out in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So look at this trade so, here. So tell me how much I owe you uh, so cash difference. Like Great deal there, Chris. Chris thank yeah. you so much. Oh, Trading sure. some Thanks. silver for gold. Yeah. It was great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Yes, thanks Let's for coming in. All right. That's right. And uh, Duncan over here is going to be purchasing some uh, gold, it looks like, right? Yep, yeah. yeah, that's correct. Uh, which one of these were you hoping to get today? I'm looking at the uh, quarter ounce bullion there. Awesome. And why why are you deciding to buy gold instead of silver today? What's, what's the uh, rationale there? Oh, I have a specific goal. Okay. And so um, every month I try to get an ounce of gold and 10 ounces of silver. Wow, uh, this is just adding to your monthly goal. Is this yeah. completing it for, for no. April? Uh, yeah, for April, this is okay. completing it for April, yes. There you go. It's a wrap. So one more quarter ounce. So you're, you're, and you're picking this particular one just because it's the only quarter ounce here or you like that piece? Uh, well, I prefer uh, 10 ounces. Okay. But, uh, you don't have any, so. Yeah. Those have been moving pretty well. That's a great deal though, to be able to walk in with cash and walk out with gold in your pocket, yeah? Yeah, that is. Yeah. Look at that. So, we got uh, we got your change and we got the gold as well there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, hello, thanks for calling Harry's Coin Shop. This is Silver Dragons. Hey, do you have any uh, of the 90% uh, oh, yeah, silver coins in stock? 90% in stock? Uh -huh. Absolutely, we got a bunch of 90% in stock down here. Let me take a look, see. Oh yeah, we got quarters. Yeah. Looking for mercury dimes? <laughs> I literally just bought, just bought them all. They literally, we just sold out. A customer came in, bought all of the mercury dimes, literally like a one minute ago. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Okay, well, hey, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thanks for calling Harry's Coin Shop.
Those are so cool. Welcome to Harry's Coin Shop. Yeah, we're a tough combo because she likes <laughs> to spend the money and I, I kind of like to hold on to it a little bit. To more. save it. Yeah. Well, uh, we were talking about this just a little bit ago. When you buy precious metals, you're not really spending money, right? You're That's just kind of saving. I get saving. to do this. If I was spending money like on fishing gear, this would not be happening. <laughs> There you go. So this this is one of the best uh, sort of hobbies you can have. Yeah. Buy yeah. stuff like this. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And it spelled us out a few times. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I've done Throughout it for years. years. So yeah. like when you come up and you need a couple thousand bucks pretty quick, just go to your safe, grab it. They buy it on the spot, and then you take care of what you need to take care of. So it's a forced savings for us because the chances of taking a gold coin down, cashing out to go to dinner, it's a lot less yeah. likely than taking a hundred dollar bill out of the safe and going to dinner. Exactly. Yeah. It makes you think about more what you want to spend your money on. Yeah. yeah. No, less, for sure. Less impulsive. Way less impulsive. Yeah. If it's in your savings it, with your bank, you can push two buttons on your phone and move it to your checking no. exactly. and boom, it's gone. Yeah. But with the silver and gold coins, you really don't want to let go of them once you buy them, no. right? No, you have to <laughs> drive all the way back down to Harry and sell and them. Then you gotta, yeah, exactly. And then you got to rebuy yeah, it. Yeah, then you got to rebuy it again. So, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't mind that, do you, Harry? Not too much. Not yeah. too much. Now we got to decide what we want to get. Yeah, no half ounce gold, unfortunately. And that's all right. Well, we might just buy a bunch of silver. We don't know yet. We're going to probably do silver rounds this time. Those are one of the best deals in the shop. Yeah, uh, 30 bucks a round. This one's got some vintage. Check out these toners. Look at this, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. That a cool piece or what? And those are just silver rounds, aren't they? These are all silver rounds. Most people buy the buffaloes. I think there's probably more of this design than any other design ever made really? for silver rounds. Oh, for sure. Huh. For silver rounds, absolutely. I'm pulling them all out. <laughs> um, oh yeah, those yeah. are cool. Check out that one. Oh, yeah, look that, that a pretty cool design, huh? Oh, that is really cool. Talk about intricate. Yeah, a lot of detail in the in the Aztec. There's something over here you, you need to see. Okay. You get over this. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll it. be back. Take oh, a look yeah, at the rounds. Nice to, nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, no way. Look at this. Silver Dragon Silverback. That's one of his silver bags. Oh, that's cool. From the channel. Yes, from the channel. This is well, that's my That's got to be redeemable for something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. What Silverback came into the shop. What are the chances? So I noticed um, you got a whole bunch of gold bags in here too. Yeah, a couple, you know, um, you know, real money. So different denominations, fungible, awesome. Also, sometimes people don't know those, so you never know when you'll just need a little bit of gold. Oh, yeah. You just store them right here in the gold back wallet. Is that what this is? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Gotta love the gold backs. If you ever need to barter, that would be a great option, huh? Yeah. Definitely gotta throw that in here with the, <laughs> with the rest of my real money. Uh, what, what brought you into the shop today? Uh, we've actually been coming to Harry's even just before your videos and yeah. after your videos it's made it hard to shop here because everybody comes in really this is awesome I am a collector my wife and I we both do collecting and silver stacking so it's been fun coming here just the environment it's awesome we usually try to come down most weekends just kind of see what he's got new inventory for collectibles or silver and stuff so we bought sold a lot that's awesome she actually just bought me some uh Pre-33 gold. Really? Yes, I did. Uh, a couple days ago from here, so. Nice pickup. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm back over here. So you are gonna pick up some of the Aztecs? Yeah, we're gonna pick up 10 of the Aztecs. Yes, that's awesome. And 10 of the Buffalo. 10 and 10? And the Canadian Maple Leaf. <gasps> and we're getting the Maple Leaf too? Leaf. You can put them right here in this tube? Yeah. They're kind of fun to. Ooh. Isn't that nice? And then we're doing 10 of these? Yeah, that's, a, gr that's a great. A uh, great way to do it. Ten of the buffaloes, ten of the Aztec. Oh, you put a sign out that said coin shop, so of course I gave in. <laughs> it's a great place to hang out. Huh? It was an involuntary reaction. Right, ten and ten. There you go. A whole two. There you go. And then you got the top. Yep. There it is. Perfect. Twenty ounces. And then this is going to be for uh, for your maple leaf. Which one would you like? Which one? Woohoo! That's a great purchase right there. That's what I want to be doing today. <laughs> Surrounded by coins. Lunchtime. Look at this. That's good. Thanks, Adrian, for lunch. And Harry. Let's see what you got here. Yeah. Oh, nice. So we got uh, two of the Aztec silver rounds. Yeah, recommended to me. 
<laughs> that's a great design. And then uh, what's this one here? Looks like we got the Anza. Nice. So uh, why did you decide to buy uh, silver today? Well, the point is for me is, uh, well, stacking silver. Got into stacking silver. Yeah. Um, came, uh, I watched a video the other day that uh, actually that you did. So I wanted to come down and, you know, get some uh, generic silver rounds and stuff. So. Well, hey, great pickups. I mean, thank you. that's awesome. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, so you're buying uh, Silver Eagle and you're the first person today uh, that's bought an eagle that I'm aware of. I don't know. It's been pretty hectic in here. We sold some. You yeah, sold a few? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. But I want to ask you, why are you choosing to buy this as opposed to some of the other things like silver rounds? What is it about the eagle that's so special? What's special about the eagle is anytime you want to sell it, yeah, anyone will buy it. And you always get your money out of it. Mm -hmm. Especially over the spot. Yeah. Oh, way over spot right now. Exactly. So the rest, you might get spot sometimes below spot well with eagles always guaranteed three four five dollars over spot yeah right now they're buying back for like eight dollars over spot exactly isn't that crazy yeah. so yeah. it's a good investment and it's a wealth uh, wealth reservation big time nothing like harry's coin shop people have been saying that all day i know especially <laughs> important he is number one it's our customers that make a great service too. is superior oh thank you yeah. Oh, Thank you. I appreciate that. Dan walked in, and apparently you're you're the guy for silver or coins, everything, right? You've collected quite a few over the years. Well, I started when I was a kid, when I was in 1964, you know, when the Kennedy halves first came out. I thought that was a big deal. My dad brought me a gold-plated Kennedy half, and I thought that was something special. So that's what started it. But once I got to college and stuff, I kind of lost interest in that, and I started working, and you know didn't pay much attention to it. And then, you know, all this buzz started happening about the Hunt Brothers and silver. Yes. Uh, in the 80s. And I still had parts of my coin collection. And gold and silver went crazy. You know, the prices went through the roof. And I said, well, I should dig out my own coin collection and sell that stuff because, you know, the market's high. So, no way. So you so, sold silver at the peak? Yes. Wow. Um, so I, I knew that that was an anomaly. So. I sold that, and then again, you know, with my career and working, and then later on, you know, when I got to be back in my 50s, I started saying, you know, I have all this knowledge about coins, yeah. and I'm letting it kind of go to waste. You know, so I started buying coins again. And then, wow. sure, next thing you know, you know, about five, six years later, silver and gold go crazy again. Yeah. You know, and then I sold a whole bunch of that, so. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Um, because you've, you've been around since silver ran up back in the Twice, 80s yeah. and then in 2011. Do you think it's poised for another run-up? Yes. Really? Yes. Do you think it's going to go higher? Well, yeah. I mean, it's, silver's half what it used to be. Yeah. And, and you figure back then, you know, $50, that, that would correlate today, you know, $75 or $100. Easy. Yeah. So you look at gold, it's almost near its all-time high. So the chances of that doubling, I mean, it's a possibility. Yeah. But the chances of uh, silver doubling, I think, are, are, are much greater. Yeah. So, so if people if were uh, buying silver or gold, you'd say probably silver's a better buy right now? Yes. Yeah. yeah I think yeah, so, too. too. Yeah. I mean, people like gold because it's small, you know, it's valuable. You know, I understand that I have some gold, uh, but I wouldn't be investing really heavy in that, you know, when it's at a high like it is right now. Now, the exception would be for, you know, certain collector coins, you know, St. Gaudens, you know, $10 Indians or, or Native American type of uh, uh, early stuff, you know, stuff that has a pneumatic value to it, a coin collector value. So that type of gold, you know, is, is always sought after. And, you know, what you try to do with that is always get the best stuff that you can buy. And, you know, you learn uh, that a, a big mistake that a lot of people do in coin collecting is they get all the stuff that's easy to get mm -hmm. and they don't buy the key dates and by the time they're ready to buy the key dates the key dates have gone up so much more than the other stuff and you know here at harry's they, they can tell you story after story of people bringing in their lincoln set collection and the two key dates the 1909 svdb and the 14d aren't there Right. Those are those first two they should have bought. <laughs> oh, so you start with the expensive, expensive ones, ones and, and then, then fill go down the easy ones later on. Yeah. And you know a thing or two about Lincoln Cents because you had the whole collection, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and Lincoln Cents are, are difficult 
all copper is difficult because you sometimes it can be artificially colored or enhanced. Oh, really? And sometimes even though it hasn't been, you can send it into a grading service and they'll say it's questionable color. Oh. So, you know, you got to be careful buying high expensive coins, especially copper coins that are raw, that you're not sure can pull the grades that, that you think it's going to get. You think, oh, this is a nice red coin. And then when you send it in, it comes back artificial color or questionable toning. Now your coin has been devalued. So, so it's harder to be an expert on copper, you think, compared to like silver or gold? Well, they all have their own you know, uh, variances in how, how to grade, but copper can be difficult. Even an experienced grader like myself, I can be, I can buy a coin thinking, oh, that coin's never been messed with and send it in. And the, the uh, coin grading services will disagree and say that that coin's been artificially enhanced. Do you so, prefer one grading service over the other? Do you think one's better? Uh, I think that the people tend to like PCGNS better than NGC, but NGC, like in foreign coins, seems to be better. Okay. Uh, they seem to sometimes uh, be a little better at grading proof coins. Mm. Uh, so they, generally speaking, I think people have a preference for PCGNS. You know, uh, ANAX, which is, you know, a distant third, people yeah. always want to discount them when they buy them, you know. So even me, if it says it's an MS65, which is a high grade coin, you know, I'll you know I don't I don't know if that's really an MS65. I want to buy it as an MS64 <laughs> because I, I, the chances of it, you know, crossing over and the, and what happens? Some of those grading services they'll cross over a coin. So if most of your coins are either NGC or PCGNS, and you want to have them all one grade company or the other, and you send you can send it in and have it crossed over. Sometimes they cross over, sometimes they don't. Oh, interesting. Well, hey, right. lots of great information. I really right. appreciate okay. the talk, Dan. Uh, okay, all right. So we got the uh, Britannias out here, and we have a stacker. So you are in here for silver coins, right? Yeah, that is correct. So why do you want to buy silver coins over, like, silver rounds? What What's the, the uh, thinking there? Uh, for me right now, just it's always backed by the government. Um, get some money back from it, guaranteed. Uh, kind of working on stacking up uh, two Britannias right now. Uh, how many more do you need to finish off your two? Uh, six, which I'll be purchasing today. Oh, so it's a great day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finishing off the two Britannias. What do you think about gold? Uh, I stack a little bit of it right now. Um, I got a little over an ounce. Uh, I'm going to step up my gold game a yeah. little bit this year. That was a goal. Do you feel like... Um, the silver price is uh, a little bit more attractive than the gold price when you look at the two? Uh, yeah, right now. Uh, yeah. Just a little more affordable with budgeting and everything. Uh, yeah. Save up more for the gold over a longer period of time. Yes. Try to buy a bigger quantity of it. Right, because no. the, the smaller piece yeah. is too much of a premium. Yeah. So not only are you buying silver today, but you brought something to give away yep. to the community. Give away on the next stream. Give away on the next live stream. Courtesy of, uh, and what was your channel name? Uh, PDX Stacker. PDX Stacker. That is so very cool. Thank you so much. Anytime. All right, so we're getting uh, six of the Britannias, right? That's correct. All right, 200. So we're trading paper for real money today. That is correct. That seems like a win to me. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good, man. Pretty good. I kid you not. What, uh, what brings you in today? You know what? Every week, this is my ritual. I do seven ounces a week. Really? Yes. That's awesome. All silver? All silver. Sometimes I would buy gold, and um, it, it's according to. But um, basically, right now, I know silver is it's, it's very undervalued. So it's the best bang for your buck. So yeah. this is what I do. Every week, I come in, or every two weeks. And I'll buy 14 ounces. Sometimes I'll buy like 30 ounces. Okay. And I keep dollar cost averaging as I go. That's the way to do it. Yeah. That yeah. is the way to do it. Hey. So just every paycheck, come back in and. Exactly. I'm trading in this fake fiat for real silver. There it is. That's what I'm doing. All right. A lot of people, they don't believe in it, but at the end of the day, we'll see who's holding the bag. That's I right. I don't want to be holding the bag right now. There you go. You know, funny enough, because I'm from the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago. And oh, it's close to Venezuela. And I've seen what oh, oh. inflation does to oh, a country. Right. Yeah. You know, um, I'll say basically five years ago, it was like, yeah, everyone needed to turn in their old 
fiat currency. And by this time, it won't have any value. So if people think that it's not going to happen here in America, I kid you not. These people really don't care about you. Right. This is what you need to be holding. Something that is physical, something that is real, something that is tangible. You can, you can take this anywhere in the world. Look at this. Just, just, just feel it. It feels good. It feels great. It feels good, man. Look, look, look at this right here. I know. I kid you not. So That's real money right yeah, there. Yeah, this is real money. This is tangible. This, this right here, you can't beat this. So yeah. I'll encourage everyone. I'll say probably the 98% of the people, the, the, the citizens in the United States of America, to start stocking. They I need mean? to start getting this in their possession. This is real. Current that go through this thing. Folks. This is currency. That's right. This is not paper. It's real money. It's real money, brother. I'm here to pick some stuff up today. Awesome. And all it takes is one at a time. Yep. One at a time. And eventually, you're on your way. Yeah. So this people can only afford to just come in and buy one ounce. You'd say, do it. Do it. Yeah, obviously. Do it. Get it done with. Because, um, you know, as I say already, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they complain a lot. They'll take their money every week. I got friends of mine, you know, I work with them and I ask them, I say, what are you investing in? Oh, man, I'm investing in cryptos. I'm, I'm investing in, you know, the S&P 500. And I look at them like this. I say, yeah, that is all good and well, but it's not tangible. It's not something that you can hold. Right. Once government have a hold of anything that you're investing in, it's not real. They're actually corralling you and steering you in their direction. And at the end of the day, with the Dodd Frank law, guess what? Yeah. It's so all gone. It's all gone. And then what? Please don't come crying to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we're wrapping up my first day here at Harry's Coin Shop. How do you think it went, Adrian? You're professional. I mean, it was a great day. You saw. How busy we get? You get very busy, yeah. And, and uh, yeah, no, I mean you're you're a natural. I mean you're you're welcome anytime here. You're you're, um, you're hired. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, Harry. Can we show people how you kind of break stuff down? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. What Adrian and I every night take everything out of the showcases and put it in the safes because we want people who look through the window at night with bad intentions to see that there's no point breaking right. in because everything's put away. Wow, so a lot of labor happens after the shop's even closed. Yeah. How would you think um, Silver Dragons did today? Let's see if that's one thing he asked me. Well, you know what? You put me at ease because I'm always nervous about these videos. Really? Honestly, I got here at 6.30 this morning because I thought it was a little messy. Oh, no. <laughs> and we opened at 10. So, yeah. anyway, we weren't too messy, right? No, no very you, clean, you, very you, professional. You have a nice, calming way about you, and as such, I think... We did okay. I think we did great. Thanks I had to so you. much fun. Seriously, Thank you. Thank it you. was an honor for me to be able just to hang out with you guys for the day. Thank you. It was a great experience. So. We appreciate Thank you very you. much and your viewers. Thank you so much, Harry. Really Silver appreciate Dragons, it. Silver Dragons, all the best to you and your family. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Adrian. Yeah. Thank you, Silver Dragons. Maybe we'll have to do it again sometime, huh? Yeah, we hope yeah. so. Let's do we'll it. see what the viewers say. Yeah. <laughs> if you want another uh, coin shop video, let us know down below in the comment section. <laughs> all right.